If you drive a certain brand of vehicle, should you use that brand's transmission fluid or will an aftermarket transmission fluid work just as well? Well, let's find out. We'll see which automatic transmission flows the best when it's extremely cold. Then we'll see which transmission fluid offers the best protection against wear. We'll find out which fluid resists foaming the best. We'll see which one is best at resisting thermal breakdown and evaporation. I paid an independent testing lab to provide us with a detailed report of all four transmission fluids. Before we kick off the testing, let's go ahead and send off the automatic transmission fluids to an oil testing lab. To avoid a mix-up, I always label each of the plastic bottles. By the way, I always shake containers before sending off samples for testing since part of the additive package may actually fall out of suspension and settle at the bottom of the container. And the testing lab will provide us a lot of great information on the transmission fluids anti-wear additive package, detergent dispersant content, as well as the total acid number, which is a measure of the corrosiveness of the transmission fluid due to the presence of acids. At a price of around $8 per quart is this AC Delco brand. All the transmission fluids we'll be testing are Dexron 6. It claims to be a full synthetic. Distributed by General Motors LLC, Detroit, Michigan. Dexron 6 transmission fluid is recommended for use in GM transmissions model year 2006 and newer. However, AC Delco claims that this transmission fluid is backward compatible with previous Dexron automatic transmissions. In other words, it's supposed to be safe to use in older vehicles. At a price of around $9 or about a dollar more than the AC Delco is this Supertech brand. Supertech claims that their transmission fluid is compatible for both Dexron and Mercron applications. Just like the AC Delco, it's a full synthetic transmission fluid. The Supertech is manufactured in USA. Let's kick off our first test comparing AC Delco against the Supertech. Each of the pots weighs a different amount, so I'll go ahead and measure out precisely 200 grams of transmission fluid into each of the containers. Then I'll crank up the heat to around 410 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the test containers every 10 minutes just in case one burner is hotter than the other. So let's see which brand is the best. And the amount of vapor coming from the AC Delco and the Supertech container seems to be very close to the same. Dexron 6 automatic transmission fluid is supposed to offer better oxidation and thermal stability. The test for this is called the NOAC volatility test, which is an ASTM test. At the end of this test, we'll find out how much evaporation has occurred with each brand. Then we'll be using the cooked transmission fluid for additional testing to see which fluid is the best. And the two-hour test is over and the transmission fluid has had a couple of hours to cool down. And the AC Delco container started out weighing 429.88 grams and it now weighs 420.25, a loss of 9.6 three grams. The Supertech started off at 394.64 and it now weighs 386.3, a loss of 8.34 grams. So the Supertech barely edges out the AC Delco by just over a gram. Let's test the lubricity or the film strength of the AC Delco against the Supertech next. I'll first add 40 milliliters of transmission fluid that's been exposed to heat into the test cups. I'll coat the test wheel and the test pen in transmission fluid to avoid damage from a dry start. One thing that I'm sure about is that the automatic transmission fluid does not offer nearly as much wear protection as motor oil. And the energy use meter is showing that there's quite a bit of friction at the start of the test. Inside of a transmission, anti-wear ingredients of transmission fluids are designed to reduce wear between metal parts that are under extreme pressure. While this test does not simulate transmission operating conditions perfectly, it'll definitely provide some great information. And the test is finished, so let's take a closer look at the test pin. I always label the test pins right after taking them off of the tester to avoid a mix-up. To achieve an accurate measurement, I use calipers under a microscope. Compared to motor oil, there's a lot more damage to the AC Delco test pin at almost 8 millimeters. Between each test, I use brake parts cleaner to clean the test equipment, and then I use sandpaper to resurface the test wheel. And the Supertech performed better than the AC Delco on the evaporation loss test, but is it better at preventing wear? And there seems to be quite a bit of friction taking place according to the sound of the tester and the energy use meter. And the test is over, so let's see how the Supertech compares to the AC Delco. And the Supertech has about 5% more damage than the AC Delco at 8.44 millimeters. The AC Delco test pin is on the left and the Supertech is on the right. And there's a lot larger wear scar with the Supertech compared to the AC Delco. So it's AC Delco for the win. At a price of $13 or $4 more than the Supertech is this mobile brand for General Motors vehicles. All of the other oil brands are full synthetic, but the mobile is a synthetic blend. Improved oxidation and thermal stability. Optimized friction performance to meet the latest standards. Improved anti-wear protection. The mobile is made in USA. At a price of $23 per quart or almost three times as much as the AC Delco is this Redline brand. D6 ATF high performance fluid for transaxles and automatic and manual transmissions. Recommended for GM Dexron 6 applications applications as well as several others. The red line is made in USA. Let's kick off the evaporation loss test for the mobile in the red line. And we're at just over 19 minutes and there's already a huge difference. And there's a lot of vapor coming from the mobile synthetic blend transmission fluid. The mobile transmission fluid is also becoming dark very quickly. And the mobile automatic transmission fluid is really struggling on this test with a lot of evaporation taking place. And the two hour test is finished and I've allowed both containers to cool for about two hours. And the mobile transmission container started off at 410.87 grams and it now weighs 390.26, a loss of 20.61 grams. Wow, that's more than twice as much evaporation compared to the AC Delco 
one super tech and the red line started off at 404.79 grams and it now weighs 397.85 a loss of just under seven grams very impressive so the red line came out on top with the least amount of evaporation at just under seven grams super tech finished in second at 8.34 grams and ac delco 9.63 so the mobile transmission fluid experienced a tremendous amount of evaporation loss but will it offer good wear protection and the mobile seems to be performing about the same as the ac delco on the energy use meter at the start of the test and this is the first time this has ever happened while testing lubricants and the ac delco and mobile finished in a tie with precisely the same size wear scar and the ac delco test pin is on the left and the mobile is on the right with the same amount of damage so when it comes to wear resistance the ac delco and mobile finished ahead of the super tech looking at just the energy use meter the redline transmission fluid seems to be performing about the same or maybe a little bit better than the ac delco and mobile of all the brands the redline still seems to have dark red color while the other transmission fluids are a lot darker and the test is finished and it's the moment of truth for the red line. And the wear scar with the red line is the best yet, but not by far with less than a 1% smaller wear scar. However, a win is a win and the red line is the best for wear resistance. So red line finished in first, AC Delco and Mobile tied for second, and Super Tech fourth. Let's first compare the flow speed of new transmission fluid at around 70 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll see how the cooked transmission fluid performs. From left to right, it's AC Delco, Super Tech, Mobile, and Red Line. And all four transmission fluids are out of the gate at nearly the same time, and this is going to be a really fast race. And Super Tech holds on to a small advantage over the competition, but this is very close. And it's Super Tech for a win by less than an inch, and a very close second place for Mobile. And it's the AC Delco and Red Line tying for third place. So all four transmission fluids flow very close to the same speed between 1.17 and 1.22 seconds from start to finish. Let's see how the cooked transmission fluid compares. From left to right, it's AC Delco, Super Tech, Mobile, and Red Line. And once again, all four transmission fluids hit the straightaway at about the same time. And Red Line is doing a lot better job of keeping up this time, but the Super Tech does have a small lead. And it's Super Tech for the win, Red Line second, Mobile third, and AC Delco fourth. The purpose of this test was really to measure performance change, and the Red Line only slowed down by 1.6%. Mobile experienced a 5.4% performance loss, Super Tech 7.1, and AC Delco 7.7%. Let's refill both testers and place the transmission fluids in a freezer that's set to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 40 degrees Celsius for about 10 hours. Then we'll compare cold temperature performance. While the transmission fluids are getting prepared for the next race, let's compare the cooked transmission fluids for foaming. All transmission fluids should have anti-foaming ingredients that prevent bubbles from forming in the fluid. I'll first test some oil that is not treated with anti-foaming ingredients. After just a few seconds, there's already a lot of air that's mixed into the oil. Inside of an automatic transmission, this could definitely cause transmission damage from oil starvation or clutch slippage. Let's test each of the fluids beginning with the AC Delco. And the tester gave the AC Delco a very good shake and the AC Delco refused to foam. So the AC Delco passed the test, and the SuperTech transmission fluid also performed very well, lasting the entire 5 minutes without air bubbles forming in the fluid. Just like the AC Delco and SuperTech, the mobile transmission fluid held up just fine without foaming. And the red line has performed by far the best so far, and it also passed this test. So all four transmission fluids offer very good protection against foaming. It's been 10 hours since placing the transmission fluids inside of the freezer, so let's go ahead and test the new transmission fluid first. AC Delco Lane 1, SuperTech Lane 2, Mobile Lane 3, and Red Line Lane 4. High quality synthetic fluids perform extremely well in cold temperatures, and the Red Line is by far the fastest to hit the straightaway. And the synthetic blend Mobile is second, and the full synthetic AC Delco and SuperTech are very close. And the Red Line transmission fluid is running at Red Line, and it's absolutely destroying the competition with a huge gap. For a synthetic blend, Mobile is performing very well ahead of the AC Delco and SuperTech. And is redlined for the win by just over 3 inches. And the mobile just finished ahead of the AC Delco and the Super Tech by just over 2 inches, which is a pretty large gap. And Super Tech barely edges out AC Delco for a 3rd place finish. Let's compare the cooked transmission fluids to see how the heat exposure impacted their performance against the new fluid. And once again, the red line is out of the gate first and heading down the straightaway. Mobile is in second, Super Tech third, and AC Delco fourth. And the red line seems to be just about as fast as it was before the heat exposure and it has a huge lead. And the heat really had a huge impact on the mobile transmission fluid and it's no longer holding on to a large lead over the AC Delco and Super Tech. And last time, the red line beat the competition by 3 inches and this time it won by 5 inches. And Mobile finished in second by a very small gap over the Super Tech. And Super Tech finished in third by about an inch gap over the AC Delco. When it's very cold and the transmission fluid needs to get going, the red line is the fastest at 24.53 seconds. Mobile finished in second at 30.16, AC Delco and Super Tech around 34 and a half seconds. For transmission fluids after exposure to heat, red line finished the race in 27.37 seconds and Mobile 39.88. Super Tech finished in 40.14 seconds and AC Delco 42.78 seconds. So comparing the new versus the cooked transmission fluid for performance, the red line only lost 10.4%. Super Tech slowed by 14.2%. AC Delco 19% and Mobile 24.4. And the testing lab report
reports are back and results are very interesting. Iron and tin are considered impurities or wear metals and fortunately there are only trace levels. All the transmission fluids look great. Barium, boron, calcium and magnesium are detergent dispersants. And the Red Line has by far the most robust additive package at over 300 parts per million. AC, Delco, Supertech, and Mobile are all pretty close to the same levels. Anti-wear additives are incredibly important for wear resistance. And once again, the Red Line has by far the most robust additive package with two and a half times more anti-wear additives than the competition. I also had the total acid number checked and all the fluids are starting off with a total acid number of under two. So which transmission fluid brand is the best? And the Red Line completely dominated the competition with the first place finish in every category. Supertech finished in second with an average finish of 2.8. And the biggest concern that I have with the Supertech is that it doesn't seem to offer quite as much wear protection as the other brands. Anytime a product performs as well as Red Line, there's usually a couple comments out of thousands suggesting suggesting somehow that I've been bought off or have accepted a sponsorship. Definitely not the case. I buy all the products tested on the Project Farm channel and I decline thousands of dollars of sponsorship opportunities every week. Definitely not for sale. There's a better way to make a living while maintaining integrity. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.